few people have suggested this idea to try it in a video and I thought it was really really good. Basically what I'm going to do is compare the sound of my stock Marshall DSL 100 with all four power tubes in it compared to my stock DSL 100 Marshall with only two power tubes in it which kind of sounds crazy if you're not used to this idea. I've actually never tried this before but bear with me if you've never heard about this I have linked an article in the video description which you can read up more about but basically in a class AB amplifier like this where you have a quartet of tubes you can remove the middle two basically because the way the amplifier works is it's feeding power to two tubes at a time and alternating between them so it's two pairs uh, this will not work if you're using like a 50 watt amp with only two tubes because if you take one of the tubes out the amplifier isn't going to work it's going to sound terrible but in a 100 watt amp if you want to be able to basically push the power section a little more uh, and lower the volume ever so slightly this is going to work really well so at the moment the amp is with the four tubes in there it's stock I'm playing my STR LJ1 Martin A. Smith pickups and that's running to the fractal X load and then that is running actually into my Fractal AX8 where I'm loading up an IR that I made of a Celestium Vintage 30. Uh, there's a very small amount of room reverb on there. That's gone straight to my Apollo Twin and then into Pro Tools as you can see in the background here. Uh, no post EQ or anything like that. So we're going to compare the sound of uh, the stock amp to what happens when I pull the power tubes. Now disclaimer, I think I have this the right way around. We'll soon find out because I'll either have success or I'll blow the amp up. But if you are running into an 8 ohm load like I am now, when you pull the middle two tubes, you have to set the amp to 4 ohms. If you're running into a 16 ohm load, like a speaker cabinet, you'd have to set the amp to 8 ohms when you do it. So basically, the relationship between the real load and what your setting should be on here is that the setting here should be half of the actual load. Alright, let's do it. This is the red channel. channel when you're listening to these comparisons try to pay attention to how uh, tight the low end sounds and also how smooth and compressed the amp is uh, that's where I'm expecting to hear the main differences <laughs> Okay, as you saw there, it did not take long to change that at all. If you've got the right tools, uh, I'm going to let the amp warm up just a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, I should probably plug my guitar into the amplifier as well because that's going to be pretty embarrassing. So, moment of truth. It's either going to be an explosion and I'll put the video up and, uh, you know, it'll be funny, I guess, um, or the amp should work. Let's have a listen to this green channel. <laughs>
as the audio volumes for this final clip, which as you can see, uh, well hopefully as you can see by that little kind of blob there, uh, the amp is definitely putting out less power, so there's less uh, coming in, less signal coming in. Uh, however, the feel is quite different as well, like um, it's, it definitely feels a little bit more like a cranked up amp, like the response is, uh, without saying like a total idiot, I want to say it sort of feels a little bit more alive, but uh, I think there's just a little bit more compression going on, which is why it's nicer to play. And uh, overall, you know, you can hear that sort of thing when I'm playing really, really hard. There's a little bit more power amp distortion in there, which is really, really nice to play with. And like I said, it's compressing and doing all the kind of juicy stuff that Marshalls do. So. <laughs> Also feels a little bit tighter in the lower end. Uh, I don't know if that's like a placebo effect or not. I'll obviously have to listen back to the clips and uh, you guys can listen to them and leave a comment and tell me which one you prefer, but it might be because that output transformer isn't being, you know, pushed as hard or something like that. There's less sag happening, but uh, I actually really like the way that sounds. I think I'm going to leave this amp uh, with these two power tubes out for a little bit and uh, play around with it. So that is how to do it. Uh, like I said, I've I'm running into an 8 ohm load and I've got the amp set at 4 ohms, that's really important. And uh, yeah, try it with your Marshall, try not to blow anything up and uh, if you do blow something up, please don't blame me. Don't try this at home if you're not experienced kids, but uh, that's what happens when you pull the middle two tubes on your 100 watt Marshall. Uh, you definitely get a little bit more, you get a little bit more, you get a little bit less uh, output overall and uh, the amp kind of responds a little bit differently. So if you've got an amp, that you kind of like, but you want to get something slightly different out of it. Before you go and buy a new amp, why don't you just try pulling those middle two tubes and uh, hopefully it will get you better tones at uh, more reasonable volumes. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. I love to stay in touch with you guys. Please let me know what you thought about the video. See you next time.